In today's video, we'll understand the basic difference between these clauses. These questions are also asked in interviews and they should be clear for anyone who wants to master an SQL. So we will understand the difference between where and having, union and union, all, in and exist, group by and order by, join and subquery, join and union. This is the first part of the video and uh, here I will clear these three, the first three over here. So let's start with the first one. That is the basic difference between where and having. So what is the difference between the two? So where is used for filtering rows and it works on rows data, not on aggregated data. We'll understand what is aggregated data later on over here. So first of all, in where, a basic query would be something like select star from employee where score is greater than or equal to 40. This is a very basic query. This is basically for filtering rows, but in having, uh, having works on aggregated data and not on normal rows. Now what is aggregate data? To understand aggregate data, we'll understand what aggregate functions are. Now aggregate functions are used to perform calculations on multiple rows of a single column. Now uh, it will return a single value. It is used to summarize data. It is used for grouping data. Uh, we'll understand it with the help of an example. So there are basically f um, five very common aggregate functions. Uh, they are count, max, min, average, sum. Uh, so this is an example. Uh, this is a very basic table with employee ID and their salaries. So uh, an example of aggregate function would be select max salary from employee. So what is this query doing is salary is this column. So this, this query will select the maximum salary from the employee. So this is the, the query is, is being performed on multiple rows of a single column as it is written over here multiple rows of a single column and hence it will find out the maximum salary it's a similar thing a similar in a similar way count min average sum can also be performed in count uh, if we write select count salary for employee uh, it will just count the number of salaries there are so one two three four five so it will return five and if average will be uh, if average will be uh, written over here it will find out the average of the multiple rows in this column so that is aggregate functions now uh, having is used with these aggregate functions so remember in aggregate functions you you will always have uh, something like having and group by uh, having will be cleared uh, cleared later in uh, sorry sorry not having group by will be cleared later in this fourth one but for now just remember that in aggregate functions having and group by is used so this is the basic difference between where and having where is used for normal filtering of rows and having is used on aggregate functions wherever there is something like count max min average sum here if you want to use something like select max salary from employee now you want to uh, you cannot use something like select max salary from employee where employee ID is greater than 105. You cannot do that. You have to use having over here. Select max salary from employee having employee ID greater than equal to 105. You cannot use where after, uh, when, you're, when there are aggregate functions. You cannot use it. So this is how you will write it select maximum salary from employee having employee id greater than 105 you cannot write where over here so that is the difference between where and having now the second one is the difference between union and union all it is very simple uh, union means it will remove d duplicate records and union all all means it will uh, it will return all the values and it will not remove duplicate values now for example you have two tables customers and suppliers i'm going to explain you what union basically means now you have two tables one is customer uh, two tables customers and suppliers and these are their attributes now for example for union you will write select staff from customers union select staff from supplies what this will do is it will combine these two tables into one table it will union it group it together but when you write union all it will 
uh, it will print all the values and it will not remove duplicates but when you write union duplicates for example 101 is in this table also and this table also so in union uh, duplicates will be removed so 101 will be printed only one time now there are few things you should remember on union union operator combines result set of two or more select statements so uh, see two or two or more select statements it will uh, combine the results from the two into one single table but this will be only be, this will only be possible when certain conditions are fulfilled something like each select statement must have same number of columns as you see they have same number of columns three three columns must have similar data types they should also have similar data types now customer id over here and supplier id over here both should be int address address both should be where can so all of them sh all the columns should have sim uh, similar data type and columns must be in the same order now when you are doing union they should be in the same order it shouldn't be like supply ID ids over here contacts over here something like that is not possible this is union versus union all now the third one is the difference between in and exist now in is basically multiple or now for example when you had a statement something like select star from customers where city is equal to mumbai or city is equal to mangaloru or city is equal to chennai this can be converted into something like this select star from customers where city in mumbai bangaloru chennai this is a much easier statement and this is why in was introduced or uh, instead of just uh, uh, putting a list over here we could also write something like select star from customers where city in select city from some other table this is what in is now what is exist now exist would either return true or false value so this is a statement select star from customers where exist select city from table 2 where table 2 dot id is equal to customer dot id basically it will return true or false if there is any value that is this is returning exists will either return true or false and the uh, query will be uh, fulfilled in that way so in and exists now there is a thumb rule which you should always remember that when sh when we should use in and when we should use exists for in when when we have a bigger outer query and a smaller inner query that there we use in now what is an auto query this the outside one is known as an auto query and this is known as an inner query or sub query so when we have a smaller inner query that is a smaller table in the this one uh, then we use in and for exist we use uh, whenever we have a smaller auto query and bigger inner query there we use exist so in basically compares one value to several values and exist tells you whether a query return any results basically it will tell you it will either give you a true or false value that is exist okay that's it for the video thank you for watching uh, now if you want to understand the difference between these three uh, please watch the part two of the video thank you